Hey, what's up? I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about eXp Realty versus Keller Williams. I'm a great person to talk on this topic because I spent my first four years with Keller Williams and my last three and a half years with eXp. So I've only been with two companies and I've done very well with both companies. And I'll tell you right off the bat, they're both excellent companies. So it's not gonna be a bashing of one or the other. It's going to be my true honest opinion of both companies. And I'm going to share my success with both companies and give you the facts so hopefully you can make the best decision for you on where you wanna be running your real estate business. My name is AJ Mida, and I help real estate agents double their income and make passive income through revenue share. I've been with the company just over three and a half years and I've built one of the largest revenue share teams of over 1800 agents. All right, so first off, like I said, I was at Keller Williams for four years absolutely loved my time there loved the people there I was not looking to make a switch I mean I took bold five times if you know what that is my wife she took it three times we always paid for our entire team to go I was ALC for two years I went to mega camp I went to all their big conferences I even coached as a productivity coach for the office for a year I mean I was all in I was not looking to make a switch but spoiler alert I am at exp now but I am still going to give you the honest truth from both perspectives and let you know which things are better at eXp and which things might be better at Keller Williams. So I had just gotten back from expansion systems orientation when I was with Keller Williams. This was the end of 2016 and I was excited to start even growing my team bigger. That's when I saw a short video and I can send you the presentation if you want to email me. I'll go ahead and put my email on the screen. I mean the presentation absolutely blew my mind. At the time, my wife was still working as an ICU nurse, and if you know any nurses, you know they work hard, long days. She got back at like seven o'clock at night, completely tired. Right after dinner, I sat her in bed and had her watch the presentation, and I watched it multiple times that weekend. I just got so excited, and within two weeks, I had switched my entire business over to eXp. What got me so excited was the opportunity to make more money, build a passive income stream, and build my business even bigger. eXp exceeded my expectations. Just 18 months after joining the company, the revenue share that I was able to build just over that 18 months exceeded what I was earning as a real estate agent, making me financially free. All right, so the first thing that you're probably curious about, agents usually want to know, hey, how much am I paying the broker? Well, let's talk about that. So commission splits. So at eXp Realty, it's an 80-20. At Keller Williams, you might think it's a 70-30, but when you consider the 6% franchise fee, it's actually a 64-36 split. So what does this mean? Well, I'll just give you a simple example. So say you get a $10,000 commission check, at eXp, you keep 80% or $8,000. At Keller Williams, you keep 6,400, 64%. So that's a $1,600 difference. That's massive, guys, absolutely massive. And that's just one transaction, guys. Think about it, just one transaction, a $1,600 difference. What could you do with $1,600? Would that pay your mortgage for the month? Would it pay maybe your mortgage and a car payment? That's a lot of money. So I have to say in that category, I'm gonna check the box for eXp. Number two, let's compare caps. So Keller Williams also has a cap, eXp also has a cap. Now I can't speak for all Keller Williams market centers cause it's different all over the place. If you're in a more expensive area, you probably pay more. And that was one of the things that caught my attention about eXp is because it's one low cap of 16,000 nationwide. That was pretty good. But at my Keller Williams office, just to give you an idea, and we weren't really in that expensive of a market. It was, it was nice, average sale price, maybe around 250, 300. But my cap there was $25,000. So that's a difference of nine thousand dollars. I actually just made another video that goes over all the fees at eXp so if you want to see it in more detail just go ahead and click the link that's going to pop up on the screen. From my experience though the monthly fees at eXp and the monthly fees at Keller Williams are very similar. Now I just want to remind you that that could vary from Keller Williams office to Keller Williams office because they do vary their fees and splits. Again that's one of the things that drew me to eXp because it's one fee, one commission split, one cap across the entire United States. So training, I get asked all the time, especially from new agents, is this company good for new agents? Or even experienced agents who are growth minded, what kind of training can I get? Now I already mentioned that I took bold five times. I went to all the conferences. I was a coach for a year. I am very growth minded. I'm always learning, always going to training, always getting coaching. I value it so much. And what I found at eXp, there's over 50 live classes every single week in our cloud office. Now these are classes being taught by some of the 
biggest agents in the industry who have come over from other companies. I mean, we're even talking about some of the biggest real estate coaches that have joined eXp who are teaching classes in the cloud office. 50 live classes a week. I mean, we're talking classes on listing presentations, buyer presentations, goal setting for agents, social media for agents, video for agents, passive income for agents. Like there's so many different classes you can attend. It's just actually kind of mind blowing to me. And the training at Keller Williams, I mean, it's still good training. You have the Ignite program. I used to teach all those classes. You have uh, Bold, which you have to pay extra for. It's $800. You have a video library. So I'm not gonna stand here and say that you know Keller Williams training is no good. What I like about EXP's training over Keller Williams is that there's a whole lot more live training. I mean, that's completely undisputed. We also have our video training library. And overall, what's interesting is that because we have this cloud office environment with the biggest producers teaching in the cloud, you're getting the best of the best of the best. Whereas if you're at a KW office, say in just a local area somewhere in the US, you're taking those Ignite classes from the local agents. And a lot of times the biggest producers in these offices are too busy to teach the classes. I know firsthand because I was on the ALC and our goal was always to get the bigger producers to teach classes, but a lot of times they wouldn't because they were just too busy selling houses. So you're getting training from oftentimes agents who might not be the biggest producers. Whereas at eXp, you are getting training from the biggest producers. Training wise, I'm gonna check both Keller Williams and eXp boxes here because I think no matter what company you go with, you're going to get good training. I just think with eXp, with the convenience, the live classes and the biggest producers teaching it, I think there is like just a little notch right above KW, but I'm gonna give both companies mad props because they are both companies that offer a lot of training and good training. Now make sure you stick with me all the way till the end because I'm going to be dropping the biggest factor that you need to consider between the two companies. But first I wanna address this whole thing of office space. So at Keller Williams, it's the old model. It's the old model, meaning there's bricks and mortar. There's a lot of overhead. So that means you have an office to go into. So if you like offices to go into, well, hey, well, you got that at Keller Williams. Whereas at eXp, we're a cloud-based brokerage with very low overhead. I mean, we're the model of the future. We're the model of now. I can tell you from my own experience, one of the biggest challenges that bricks and mortar, it's not just Keller Williams, it's Remax, it's Century 20. The biggest problem that all these brokerages have is just getting the agents to actually come to the office. They want to build this local culture. They want the agents to be plugged in, but agents are busy. They're busy with family. They're busy with all the things going on in today's world. They're busy meeting clients at houses. They're busy showing houses. They're meeting clients at coffee shops near the homes that they're showing, listing presentations. They're going to the client's houses. They're too busy to spend a lot of time at the office. So it's kind of like a catch 22. Sometimes agents think they need an office, but at the same time, one of the biggest challenges brokerages have is getting agents to actually show up to the office. And from my own experience, going into the office was oftentimes a distraction. I actually ended up getting my own office so I could have a separate space for my team, distraction free, because I found when I'd go to the office, there'd be a lot of other agents there asking me questions or just gossiping. And that was really an environment that I didn't want to be a part of. And all of that's fun. It's fun to just kind of kick back and have some cooler talk here and there. But when it's a regular thing, it really hurts your productivity and it hurts your mindset. So for me, I'm all about having a winning culture. I'm all about developing a strong mindset. So I wanted to build my own environment around that. So for me, going into the office was actually a negative thing overall. If you're a top producer watching this, I'm speaking to the choir, you know what it's like at the office. And you already know that your clients don't wanna to go to the office. If you're a new agent, you might be wondering where you're gonna be meeting with clients. Well. If you're out showing houses, you're out showing houses, the client does not want to drive all the way to your office before they go see houses. So you want to meet them at a convenient location, like a coffee shop nearby the first house you're going to show, or just meet them at the first house. Sellers, they're for sure not going to want to meet you at the office. You're going to go to their house because you need to see the house for the listing appointment. So clients don't care about your office. Clients don't care about coming to your office. So for clients, offices are not important. One cool thing that eXp did though as a solution to having a space for agents to work if they choose is Regis. So Regis corporate suites are found all across North America. 
in pretty much every major city. And there are these beautiful co-working spaces where you can go in for free, use the co-working space, get discounted boardrooms if you want, discounted conference rooms, discounted offices. But for me, I just use the free co-working space areas and I loved it, where I'd be working at coffee shops or working from home or meeting clients. Now lastly, and the most important to me was growth opportunity. I mentioned I had just got back from expansion systems orientation, which is Keller Williams' flagship class on expansion, on growth opportunities. And when I saw EXP's model, just a simple webinar. I mean, I just had spent two, three days in Naples, Florida with their VP of expansion. And now I just watched this little half hour or whatever it was presentation. Again, if you want to see it, email me. So it was just a short presentation and it sold me that EXP was the platform for growth, the platform for residual income, the platform for freedom. When I got into real estate, I wanted freedom. I wanted time freedom. I wanted location freedom. I wanted financial freedom. And what I found as a real estate agent, yeah, you can make a lot of money, but at what cost? The more money you make, the more houses you sell, a lot of times it means less time with your family, less times doing the things that you love. If you have time freedom, it's probably because you don't have any clients, so you're not busy. And traveling is really hard because you got to be local, showing buyers houses, meeting with listing clients. You can't be traveling and still operating your business. So I had this long-term goal of this, this freedom, the three freedoms, financial, time, and location, and just 18 months after joining this company, I had all three. Whereas at eXp, for just a startup fee of $149, which gets you business cards, gets you presentation folders, gets you your technology setup and all that, I had that opportunity to get a return on my time, a return on my money. I could build revenue share through the company. And what's so cool and what I'm so excited about is eXp, yeah, we're growing super fast. When I joined, we only had 2,400 agents. Now we have over 28,000 but we're still relatively a small company. We're just now opening additional countries. We just went to the UK and Australia last year. Our goal is to open two to three more countries every single year. And what's crazy about that is we all have the opportunity to expand. I mean, I have agents in Australia. I have agents in the UK. I have agents in over 45 states. I have agents all across Canada. I mean, that's mind blowing to me. Had I invested that money into a local Keller Williams office, it would be a local Keller Williams office with around 250 agents. In just three years, I have over 1,800 agents worldwide at this point. Whereas Keller Williams, they're already a huge company. They have over 160,000 agents. And what that means for you is limited growth. How are you gonna go into a new market when Keller Williams already exists in almost every market? I mean, I've had agents underneath me, part of my revenue share team, that have opened up new cities, new MLSs, the first ones there. And that cost me no money. And now I have teams of agents building in those areas and every time they sell a house, I get paid. In fact, last month, my team did over 800 transactions. I got paid on 800 different transactions. I mean, that still blows my mind. I had a team at Keller Williams that I brought over to EXP of just five agents. We were selling 80, 85 houses a year and we were just locally confined. We would have never got much bigger than that, to be honest. I mean, I spent four years doing that and within just 18 months, I had a team of 500 agents at eXp in multiple, multiple states. Like, that's just crazy. I mean, if you're thinking growth, if you're thinking security, if you're thinking residual income, I mean, how good does it feel to have multiple streams of income and to have a diverse income? As an example, let's just say if real estate really got hit in Charlotte and my business was affected because of that when I was just selling locally, that's like, could be detrimental, right? Whereas if you have agents in multiple, multiple states all around the country, isn't that like more secure, more diverse? Like I didn't think about that when I first joined eXp, but now that I have it, it just gives myself and my wife some peace of mind. So that's kind of been just an added benefit that kind of came about. As you can probably see, the biggest reason I came to eXp was for the growth opportunity, the freedom opportunity, that residual income. I mean, I spent four years building a team at Keller Williams. And at the most, I had around seven agents, but typically speaking, the good agents leave you after a while and there's a lot of turnover. So over those four years, I recruited around 20, 25 agents to my local real estate team. I was doing well, like I said, we were selling 80 to 85 homes a year. Our gross commission income was around 600,000 a year. So, you know, income was good, life was good. But every year, what happens? You start at zero, right? January one, okay, how am I going to repeat or increase the success that I had last year? What else can I do to invest my money? What else can I do to grow my business? And that puts a lot of pressure on you as an agent. I mean, my overhead for my business was $14,000 a month. 
and typically in the winter, sales go down. So there are some months where I actually lost money. Whereas at eXp, once I built this team of 1800 agents, starting January 1, I know that I have this army of agents working hard to build the company, to sell more houses, and I'm going to get paid whether or not I work. I could go travel and that's, that's what residual income is. It keeps coming in even though you might not be working for it. The verdict's in, as you guys can see, I'm at eXp. I'm certainly a biased source, but I did my best to give you my opinion from being at Keller Williams for so long and now being at eXp for so long. And guys, both companies are great companies. Whether you go to KW, whether you go to eXp, you can have a highly successful real estate career and I hope that you do. At the end of the day, looking back on my decision to join eXp, it came down to this. And at the time, I didn't really realize what it was, but now looking back on it, this is kind of how I sum it up. I had only been in real estate for four years, but I had sold hundreds of homes. And what I saw during those four years was, yeah, I could make a lot of money, but I could never have the freedom that I wanted. And I could see, you know, going out 10 years, not being happy doing the same thing over and over, trading time for money. Ultimately, I didn't want more of the same. I did not want the next four years to look like the previous four years. The income was great but I wanted this lifestyle that I always imagined. And I knew at that company, I could not achieve it. And when I joined eXp, we only had 2,400 agents, like I said, we weren't even publicly traded on the NASDAQ yet. It was a big leap of faith, but I was willing to take that leap of faith. I mean, worst case scenario, I could have went back to Keller Williams. So I took that leap of faith and it paid off. So if you've been watching it this long, and anything I'm saying is pull on your heart a little bit, reach out to me, email me, and I'd love to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you, just kind of talking about what your goals might be, answering some questions for you, and I can send you that video too. So if you don't want more of the same, if you don't want the next 10 years to look like the previous 10 years, then you gotta do something different, right? And I'm not sure if EXP is the answer for you, but maybe it is, and you owe it to yourself to at least get all the facts, explore it a little bit more, do your due diligence, because it just might change your life. I hope you got some value from this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you guys.